live but conveniently for you you are able to rewind pause and play the content to your pace this is mind your math we back to you know vaccinate you with some numerics to solve all your mathematical ills my name is Collins McKenzie and today's lesson is going to be on series now you have to differentiate between sequences and series now there's three types of series that we do in our curriculum which were arithmetic geometric and also quadratic in this case of series we're dealing with arithmetic and geometric specifically we're going to deal with arithmetic series series so uh, take out your calculators and let's mind your math by the end of this lesson you should be able to use the arithmetic series formula and also be able to manipulate the individual variables in the formula to find each of the variables by using the other variables in the formula we're going to delve in deeper into it so you know have some patience and I'll do this so when we talk about arithmetic series or series in general we're talking about the summation of all the terms in the series so for instance if we have a series like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 mm. another thing I want you to note is that the difference between a sequence and a series is that a sequence has commas in between the terms and a series has plus signs which signifies that you should add all the terms that are given to you so in this case we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 which means there's six terms in the series and there's addition signs in between the terms so you have to add the individual terms so as you can see this is an arithmetic series with a common difference d which is equals to 1 and first term a which is also equals to 1 so we can find the general term of the arithmetic sequence because it's a sequence but in this case we are told it's a series so tn will be equal to a plus d into n minus 1 our first term is 1 plus 1 into n minus 1 which becomes n minus 1 and n this is the general formula for the arithmetic sequence now we need the arithmetic series which means we have to add all the sums all the terms together we can either do it manually by saying 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 or we can use the arithmetic formula arithmetic series formula that is which is sn equals to n over 2 into 2a plus d into n minus 1 close bracket now what the individual variables represent in the formula n represents the final term which is the term the final term that you should use to add i don't know if that makes sense i'm uh, a is our first term and D is our common difference N is also our final term so let me use this example so we have six terms in this sequence so it means that the final term is six so we have to add from the first term up until the sixth term so our n will be 6. Sn. Sn represents your sum. Which means 6 over 2 into 2. A is 1, our first term. D is 1, our common difference. And n is 6, our final term. From here you plug into your calculator. 6 over 2. into 2 times 1 plus 1 into 6 minus 1 close bracket close bracket becomes 21 so this means the sum to 6 terms of this arithmetic series is 21 which means when you add all the terms together they give you a value of 21 let's get into a practical example 
that I found from your question paper. Given the arithmetic series 18, 24, 30 up until 10, that has a value of 300. Determine the number of terms in this series. In order for us to determine the number of terms in this series, we must find the general formula for this arithmetic series, but in sequence form. What I mean is that we have to take it as a sequence up until the standard term. Therefore, because it's arithmetic, we have A as our first term, which is 18, and our common difference D, which means term number 2 minus term number 1, which is 24 minus 18 which is 6, then we can find our general term, which becomes a into minus 1, 18 into 6 into n minus 1, which becomes 18 plus 6n minus 6, which is 12 plus 6n. So your general formula is 12 plus 6n. Now to find the number of terms in this series, so we have 18, which is the first term, 24, the second, 30, the third, up until the term that has the value of 300. So we need the term that has the value of 300. So in order to do that, we replace Tn with 300, and we find n, 6n, 300 minus 12, 288 and divide both sides by 6 and 48 which means the number of terms in this series are 48 which means the 48th term has the value of 300 now the second question calculate the sum of this series calculating the sum of a series we need to use the appropriate formula because it's an arithmetic series we already know the formula for an arithmetic series, which is Sn over n over 2 into 2a plus d into n minus 1, close bracket. The wonderful thing about the questions that are given to you in your exam is that the question above gives you a clue of the question below. So we were asked to find the number of terms in this series and we find out that it's 48 so now we are calculating the sum of the series and we need that 48 because it is the value we replace n with because n is our final term so 48 over 2 into 2 our first term is 18 18 our common difference which we found by minusing 18 from 24, which is 6, into n, which is 48, our last term, minus 1. So from here, plug into your calculator. Over 2, into 2 times 18 plus 6, into 48 minus 1, close bracket, close bracket, 7,632, which means the sum of this series, 18, 24, 30, up until the value of 300, when you add all the terms in this sum, they give you a value of 7,632. Given the arithmetic series, this is a question we found from November 2014, which means it was a final exam question paper, the infamous final exam. So it says, given the arithmetic series 2 plus 9 plus 16, up to 251 terms. First question is, write down the fourth term of this series. Now, because it's an arithmetic series, we do not even have to use the formula. We can just read from the series by itself. 2, 9, 16, 
9 minus 2 is 7, which means the common difference is 7. So in order to get the next term, you must add 7 to the previous term. So 2 plus 9, 2 plus 7 becomes 9, 9 plus 7 becomes 16, 16 plus 7 becomes 23. So 23 is our fourth term. Do not even have to use the formula here. So B. Our second question is calculate the 251 or 51st, 51st term of the series. So now we have to use the formula. 2916. Our first term. Into n minus 1. Our first term is 2. So it means a is equal to 2. And our common difference b is 7. So um, the question says calculate the 251st term of the series. So in order to get the 251st term of the series, we must use the formula for the sequence, arithmetic sequence. Hence, Tn is equal to a plus d into n minus 1. And after that, we replace a with 2 and d with 7. 2 into 7n minus 7 becomes Tn is equal to 2 minus 7 is minus 5 plus 7a. So this is our general formula for the given series. So in order to get the 251st term, we replace Tn with... Nope. In order to get the 251st term, we replace 251 with n. So minus 5 plus 7 into 251. 7 times 251 minus 5. So 1752 is our 251st term. That's done with. Therefore, question C, calculate the sum of this series. So in order to get the sum of an arithmetic series, we must use the formula for the arithmetic series sum, which is Sn equals to n over 2 into 2a plus d into n minus 1, close bracket, close bracket. So n is 251st because 251st is our fourth, is our last term. We're adding to 251st terms. So 251 over 2 into 2. A is 2 and D 7. 251 replacing N minus 1. Close bracket, close bracket. So from here, plug into your calculator as usual. 251 over 2 into 2 times 3 plus 7 into 251 minus 1. Close bracket, close bracket. Therefore, your answer is 220378. You will read that. I do not want to be our former president counting numbers. So, that is the final question. That's all we have for you today, guys. You can check us out on our social media pages, Search Town Wave, which usually should be on the bottom right of your corner and mine should be at the bottom left of your corner so hope they are and um, also just to recap on what we've done um, we did arithmetic series we differentiated between the sequence and the series and we used the formula for an arithmetic series to get the sum of the series we also used the formula for an arithmetic series in order to get the number of terms in that series so we did a lot of things and i hope you enjoyed yourself and from me it's goodbye